Welcome to Brew Builds, your place for DIY home improvements. I'm Paul. Today I'll be reinstalling the post for our grape barber using this outdoor accent hardware from Simpson. You ready? Let's do this. Since we are raising the dirt level in this area, I wanted to raise up the concrete pillar for the post. I was going to use your typical concrete post anchor, but then decided to get one of the more decorative ones from Simpson. Tools and items needed. Simpson post anchors. A tape measure. A level. A screw gun drill driver. A circular saw. An adjustable wrench or socket wrench. Gloves and your personal safety gear. I raised this pillar up about 5 inches by adding this 8x8 concrete block. I cut and bent the existing post anchor, then filled it in with concrete and added in this bolt. Now, let me get this package opened up and get these post brackets installed. On the brew scale, technical ability I rate as a novice. You just need to know how to use a tape measure, level, and a screw gun. Physical ability I rate between easy and difficult. Just make sure you're getting everything nice and tight. There are two styles in the Outdoor Accent Decorative Hardware Collection. One collection is called Mission, but we like the simplicity of the Advent Collection. Now, both of these use special hardware, which consists of screws and washers that look like large nuts, giving it a more finished look. Cost-wise, these will cost about 25% more than your standard post anchor, but you do need to buy the special hardware, and that does add up. Place the post anchor over your anchor bolt or hole if you're inserting a bolt. The slotted 5 8 inch hole makes it easy to adjust positioning and alignment. Add the square washer that comes with the post anchor. I added a 5 8 inch round washer as well. Before installing the nut, it's a good idea to make sure that the 1 inch standoff will fit before tightening it down. Just in case you need to grind the anchor bolt down a bit. This 1 inch standoff is a nice feature as it will help prevent the bottom of the post from rotting. If everything fits, attach the nut, then twist and move the bracket until you have it squared up in the correct spot. Then tighten it down. If you have a socket wrench that fits the nut, it would be much better than an adjustable wrench. Once it is tight, add in the one inch standoff. The grape arbor posts are in the same place, but I still need to shorten them. So I'll measure from the new post bracket to an existing lag bolt hole in the crossbar. Looks like 74 and 3 8 inches. I'll measure down from the same lag bolt hole in the post and mark a line for the cut. Then continue that line around the post using a speed square. All right, let's cut this. All right, I just need to touch up the paint before installing the post. These special washers fit inside the hole of the post anchor, which will help keep everything in line when you're attaching the screws. Just make sure that you have the washer completely in the hole before you start screwing in the screw. Another reason I wanted to try out the decorative hardware from Simpson is to see if we like them enough to put them on our new pergola that I'm building. It's all part of the backyard makeover project I'm working on, so be sure to check those videos out and subscribe to Brew Builds so you don't miss out on this adventure. Okay, let's get this post installed. It looks square on the bottom. Let me just check that the post is level. The screws came with a special star bit for you to use. I like to place the washer in the post hole first, then insert the screw and start screwing. Just make sure the screw is going in straight. You 
you can insert the washer and the screw at the same time, just make sure the washer is in the hole correctly. Doing it this way can help you hold the screw in the screw gun bit until you get it started. The fastener holes in the post anchors are slightly offset to help prevent fastener interference. Okay, one post is done, let me do the other one. I just need to tighten up the lag bolts and the cross beam, then we are done. Well, that's it. It is very simple to install. Why don't you hit that like button for me and subscribe to Brew Builds to see more DIY videos like this one. I just have a little touch of paint to do and this will be good to go. What's nice about this is now these brackets are going to match the pergola in the rest of our backyard. <laughs>